drums down and bass line Smith. You're tuned into Bass Island Radio. We've had the great pleasure and honor here on Bass Island of the first Italian play of what I would dare to call a milestone. Technique Recordings 100th release, Tech 100. First part was released in December, and now this week it's time for part two. Obviously, courtesy of label bosses, drum sound, and bassline Smith. So we have on the phone one of the responsible persons for this, Simon Bassline Smith. Hi, Simon. Hi, how are you doing, man? Hi. Hi, Hi. very nice Thanks to have you on Bass Island. So a massive, massive achievement, 100 releases, 15 years of successes. Well, how does it feel? Yeah, it feels amazing. You know, we've, uh, when we first started out on this journey, we never uh, expected, um, you know, to get to this milestone. We just really started, uh, started with the first release. We didn't know what the second release was going to be. And over that time, we've built up a phenomenal catalogue. Um, uh, our own production skills over the last 10 or 15 years have improved immensely and it's an honor to be able to uh, put out so many good tunes on the label and to reach 100 you know there's not many drum and bass labels exactly. today that have been able to do that very few i'd say very few and how was making music and running a label back in 99 compared to nowadays well, back in 1999, uh, in terms of running a label, everything was done on the telephone or you had to drive into, because we live outside of London, so there was a lot of traveling that we needed to do into London to manufacture the, the records, because in those days, a lot of it was vinyl. In fact, all of it was vinyl. You know, yeah. Every release was just pure vinyl, so that in, in itself is different because now, obviously, the marketplace is much more uh, geared towards digital releases. Um, and also, the technology behind making tunes was completely different. Back in the day, we just worked on an Atari 1040 and then really sort of uh, early early PCs and uh, 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 samplers, hardware, S1000, archives. Now everything is, you know, in the box, yeah. uh, on a computer with a lot of plugins. So the whole spectrum of, of, of what we do from a record label and from a production point of view has changed um, so much. It's just incredible the, the way things have gone in that yeah. regard. And let's talk about this homage you guys are releasing, Tech 100. This week, part two is out, which are all brand new tracks covering a full range of styles, which you guys have written especially for this occasion, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, in the last sort of two years, three years, we had been working on our own drum sound and bass line Smith album, which was The Wall of Sound. And we had a lot of tunes that were obviously put together primarily for that body of work. But then, as towards the end of that project uh, ended, we decided that we wanted to kind of make some more tunes that we felt were more geared towards the dance floor, what we're better known for in the drum and bass scene. And we put together a package of tunes that we feel, you know, DJs across the world and, 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 and ravers across the world can really you know, really get into and enjoy on the dance floor. You know? Absolutely. And you're also going to release a very special album. Do you want to tell us yourself what it's about? Yeah, you know, to, 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 to commemorate this, this point of where we are, we've decided that we're going to release a Technique 100 retrospective LP. Um, and this LP is going to be 43 tracks over the last 15 years that have been handpicked all on one album, so you've got tracks from, you know, DJ SS, there's a track on there from Ronnie Size called Friends, which was released some eight years ago, there's a J Magic and Wicker Man track, as, as well as tracks from, you know, Digital, um, Ourselves, Tantrum Desire and all the other artists on Technique, so wow. that's a package of 43 tunes, Whoa. the thing is, We've got six tunes on there that are exclusive VIPs never heard before. The only time that these have been heard before are when I or Andy or Ben have played them. They've never been released. And Wicked. they're exclusive VIPs we made for ourselves. And we've decided to put them on this LP so that, you know, people have got these special tracks that are VIPs that, that weren't available before. Yeah. So not only have you got the old remastered tunes, you've got these VIPs and it's basically a package to just sort of show the, you know, where we've come from and 
some of the tunes that have come out in the last 10 or 15 years, especially with nowadays you have maybe a newer audience into drum and bass as well that may not know the full history, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's a wicked project, wicked album. And um, where does this strong and never-ending drive still come from? I mean, can new drum and bass still excite you, still make you discover something new? Or is it, or is it something um, coming from within, something you guys were born with and would always have until your last breath? Where does the inspiration come from to, to make the music? Yeah, yeah. Does it come from outside yeah. or is it inside you? It's so well, strong inside you. I think it's a combination of... Um our own experience in life and also in music because um, there's so much different genres and music around um, and the genres and new things are always uh, being introduced to the specter and then obviously we all come from a very musical environment we've all been heavily into music from a very young age whether it be funk soul reggae jazz rock so that's the great thing about there being three of us we just basically uh, can put all our ideas and influences into a melting pot and then obviously again like I said earlier with the new production techniques that, are not, uh, that we've developed over the time it just enables us to push ourselves and just try and to come up with something new within the genre of drum and bass you know mm -hmm. and how's your Ministry of Sound radio show going? Well, that's great. Yeah, we just started that a couple of weeks ago, and it's going to be the first Tuesday of every month. Mm -hmm. So the next one will be in two weeks' time, and there's something new for us, you know, to have our own radio show, and actually we're looking forward to it. It's quite exciting, and Ministry of Sound are, 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 are looking to promote drum and bass much more now. Um, going forward so it's great to be part of the team you know absolutely and i heard an interview on on ministry of sound radiance when you guys you said you're already working on your next album and perhaps and i would say hopefully you might do a vip of odyssey right if you manage to find all the parts <laughs> in your own hard drives well, two, two things yes we've started work on the next album um the last one took three years, so hopefully this one won't take as long. But we've already started and we're probably halfway through it. Uh -huh. uh, so that's quite exciting for us to know that we've you know, started that already. And then the VIP of Odyssey, we would love to do this year because it's 10 years since that was released. Mm -hmm. It was released in uh, 2004. 2004, yeah. Now. So we'd love to get that out this year. But the thing is, we lost... Um, all the parts because uh, back in the day parts were saved on, on, on floppy disks and stuff yeah you know? yeah <laughs> we were using um, uh, samplers that used floppy disks and so we lost the samples but we're going to try and recreate we're going to try and recreate it again. We're going mm -hmm. to try our best to recreate it and come up with a VIP or a 2014 version. Oh, that'd be wicked. It's going to be fun, actually, trying to recreate it. <laughs> and what are other Technic artists up to? Tantrum Desire, L+, Plus, Max Energy, Chrissy Chris? Yeah, well, it's good that you ask. Chrissy Chris is just uh, going to be release, uh, releasing the Trinity uh, EP, Volume 1. And we've just put some of his tracks up on the SoundCloud. So if you want to go onto the Technique Recording SoundCloud or the Technique Recordings YouTube, there's two or three of his new tracks uh, fresh up there from the Trinity Volume 1. Mm -hmm. um, Tantrum Desire, he is putting together an, an album which will be released uh, in the autumn, probably around October or November. Nice. Uh, his first album sampler is called Adventures Through Space. And that was premiered yesterday on Friction Show on BBC Radio 1. So you can also go on the SoundCloud and have a listen to the new Tantrum Desire track. Wow. So we're quite excited about that. It's going to be a huge, huge tune, that one. Yeah. Um, Max Energy is in the studio working hard on his next release. And El Plus, he's nearly finished his next release. He's been working really hard updating his sound and really just trying to take things to the next level. As as uh, Spectrum as well, he's working hard at the moment on some new material. So the camp's really feeling quite 
upbeat and, 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 and positive about getting some really good music out this year. Yeah, absolutely. Many things to come. So you're, you guys, you're ready for the next 100 releases, right? <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of getting locked ready for the next 100 releases and we'll see how long that takes. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Excellent. Thank you so much and all the best for the next 100 releases. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. It's been my pleasure.